on Flix. I'm Fitz. This is my friend Murph. Hey, Fitz. What's up? Hey, nothing much. How you doing? I'm doing good. I just got my new Playboy in the mail. Oh, you dirty dog. <laughs> hey, um, so this week we saw a movie called Miss March. A uh, new comedy from the guys who brought you The Whitest Kids You Know. Uh, what are their names? Zach Kreger and Trevor Moore. Yeah. Um, they mm -hmm. wrote, they directed this, they star in it. Murph, mm -hmm. what's the movie about? Did you enjoy it? What, tell, tell me. All right, this movie stars two like best friends. You got mm -hmm. Eugene and Tucker. Eugene's mm -hmm. all about abstinence. Mm -hmm. He's his brother had some um, bad things happen when he had sex mm -hmm. out of wedlock. Tucker, on the other hand, is a sex crazed pervert. Mm -hmm. The two of them make a nice couple. Right. Of buddies. So uh, prom night comes and uh, Eugene, the abstinent guy, his girlfriend uh, wants to have sex with him. Mm -hmm. Finally, he gives in. He's like, "I'm gonna do it." Has a couple drinks at the party and says, when I come back, I'm going to be a man. Unfortunately, he falls down a flight of stairs and hits his head. And now he's been in a coma for the past four years. Tucker gets him out of bed, wakes him up out of the coma with a baseball bat. And uh, they find out that his girlfriend from four years ago mm -hmm. is now Miss March in Playboy. So they make a cross-country trip to the Playboy Mansion so that he can say, what's up? Why you miss March? Why you miss March? You and my girlfriend. Why you in Playboy? What's up with that? Don't be in Playboy. So yeah, that's basically the story. And, and craziness and madness ensue on the way. You certainly do. Certainly do. Mar did you did you like the movie? I did you? not. You did not like no, the movie? No, I didn't like it. Okay. I didn't think it was funny. Mm -hmm. I thought that the two guys who were in it weren't very good at what they were doing. I appreciate the effort, though. I think it's very hard to write a movie. Sure. It's harder to write and direct a movie it just seems like a lot of the jokes probably look better on the page than they did in the film mm -hmm. that's me I, 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 I agree it is hard to write a film I remember we tried to write one about was it Bruce Willis and yeah. something about pancakes Jack the Pancake Man yeah and that was it looked funny when we wrote it down mm -hmm. but when you actually looked at it a few days later it was ridiculous yeah. but I disagree with you I actually really liked. I I thought this movie was really funny. Now I don't. Don't get me wrong. I'm Dropping hey. cups. So um, <laughs> I no. I, I I laughed pretty much through this whole movie. Is this movie brilliant? Is, is it like you know? Are we talking a fish called Wanda kind of? No. I mean it's really stupid, but I think like a funny stupid. Maybe it's just. Maybe I had a few too many last night, you know, this morning. I just wasn't thinking straight when I saw the movie. Maybe this, maybe that. I don't know. But mm -hmm. I found myself laughing throughout the whole thing. I thought these two guys were incredibly likable. Mm -hmm. um, the, t the two characters, our main characters here. Yeah. I mean, they were both really dumb, but they were both really likable. I thought Craig Robinson in this movie, he plays Horstick.mpeg see it and you'll mm -hmm. understand uh, I thought he was hysterical in this movie I think he's funny all the time but I, I mean I think back on like uh, Zack and Mary make a porno you know he's in that and I don't I, I didn't find him that funny in that you know I, I think oh, this God. is the first I think this is the first time he's been used really well in a film in quite I a while I think you couldn't be more wrong I thought he was I, way funnier than Zack and Mary I this one he was, was just nearly as funny he was just acting like a goofball you know he was good I'm not gonna get he was probably the highlight of the film for me but um, he was, I, I've definitely seen him funnier. I definitely I didn't really. All right, you, Tucker, the pervert guy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. was so annoying. I couldn't take him. The other kid was just whining the whole time. Ugh, I could. There, there really was. I can't think of one funny part to me. I mean, I I, I can think of I can think of many. I I thought <sighs> I thought you know getting people out of comas by hitting them in the head with bats. That's funny to me. Okay. I've, all, I've always said, hit right. somebody that's in a coma with a bat, and you got me laughing. Okay. And to my surprise, that's what they were doing in this movie. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was funny. I thought the whole scene, you know, at the Playboy Mansion, I, I thought the firefighters chasing them everywhere they went mm -hmm. was hysterical. You got firefighters. Mm -hmm. One of the characters, Tucker, he's got a girlfriend, and through an unfortunate accident involved a stripper pole, epilepsy, and a fork. Lots of injuries ensued, and um, basically the brother of the girl ends up, um, he's a firefighter, yeah. and he ends up wanting to destroy these two as they're making mm -hmm. their way cross-country. Um, I thought that was funny. Every turn they got, 
they kept throwing axes at these two. It kept sticking in the car, and they never think to take the axe out. So the right. car progressively gets more axes on it. That's funny to me. You know how I like axes. I know cars. you love axes, and mm -hmm. this has been a dream of yours. If this movie, it's not. Again, it's stupid. I'm not saying it's not stupid, mm -hmm. but. It's a stupid that I can get behind. I, I laughed. It, this movie cra it cracked me up. It cracked me up. Um, I don't know how else to tell you that. It made, it made me laugh. That's why I think well, it was good. I'm glad it was, it was supposed to make you do that. Mm -hmm. It didn't make me I do didn't it. get it. I don't know. Okay. Maybe I was just in a bad mood or something, but I, I didn't laugh. Maybe I was just in a good mood and laughed, you know? That, that's probably it. I think or that's more you were likely. in a bad mood, maybe. No, that's, it didn't. No. Because I was excited to see this. I think it was more of like, I like the premise. Mm -hmm. I like the idea. I was excited to see this movie. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, it just it just didn't work for me. I do have to agree with you on the uh, we talked earlier about Hugh Hefner. Oh Ooh, yeah. hey, God love you, Hugh, Hugh Hefner. But um, what are you saying? Memorize. You gotta memorize your lines. Memorize. You could tell that he was reading off a cue card. I mean, the whole you, time. Yeah, when you're actually squinting when you're saying your lines, that tells us <laughs> that you're probably reading off a cue card. Because he wasn't angry. He wasn't squinting like an anger. He was, oh, n n nice to meet you. That's, that's not good. And it also shows that you've got immature directors. Nothing against these guys. i I, I got to give him props for actually making this movie. But I think an experienced director will say, Hugh, fucking smarten up. This is a real movie. Memorize the fucking lines. Jesus. Yeah. But, you know, but... If all the made this movie. Right. If all the stone made the movie. If I made the movie, I would have said, do whatever you want, Hugh. Seriously. Read that's, off the cards. Go ahead. That's a good, excellent point. So, well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying see it. And I'll tell you what, I know by telling you see it, and you see it, and if you don't like it, you'll be mad. But that's fine. Bring it on. Um, um, I'm I'll say, say see it. I'm going to say don't see it. And if you do go and see it and you like it, bring it on. Because right. I will challenge you. So if you see it and don't like it, bring it on. <laughs> bring it on if you do like it. All right. So either way, we got some bringing it on going on. All right. And um, basically, thanks for watching. Uh, check us out now uh, next week when we review more stuff, movies. And um, mm -hmm. have a good week. Check us out on fitsonflix.com. And we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.